Vincent van Gogh was born in 1853 in the Netherlands. He lived until 1890 and he was 37 years old when he died. When Vincent van Gogh was a child, he liked doing things that many other children like to do. Explore out in nature, play with his brothers and sisters, and draw pictures with pencils and paper. As he grew older, Van Gogh had many jobs to support himself. He worked in a bookstore, in an art gallery, and in a church. During this time, he was also a teacher, a minister, and a missionary. When Van Gogh reached the age of 27, he decided to become a full-time artist. As he started his art career, Van Gogh had very little money. He used pencils, charcoal sticks, and watercolor to create lovely landscapes and subjects that interested him. Eventually, he began to use oil paints. When Van Gogh first started painting, his paintings were sad, somber, and dark. This is one of Van Gogh's most famous early paintings. It's called The Potato Eaters. This is a dark painting of a poor peasant family eating only potatoes for dinner. During this time, Vincent van Gogh's brother, Theo, worked in an art gallery in Paris, France. Theo tried to offer encouragement to Vincent and suggested that he try selling his paintings. Theo even tried to sell Vincent's paintings in the art gallery where he worked, but nobody wanted to buy his paintings. By the time Van Gogh was 33 years old, he felt that he had to try something new and different. He moved to Paris and he learned about a new style of painting called Impressionism. Impressionism is a style of painting that is characterized by small, thin brush strokes. In this style of art, the artist does not try to paint a reflection of real life, but more an impression of what the artist sees. Van Gogh was so excited about this new way of painting that he started painting feverishly. He painted more than 900 paintings during this time. His paintings also became more colorful, bright, and vivid. The subjects that he enjoyed painting the most were people on the streets of Paris, subjects feasting at the local cafes, and the warm glow from the fields in the French countryside. Van Gogh also spent much of his creative time perfecting his skill of painting portraits. Because he did not have much money to pay models to sit for his paintings, he would paint portraits of himself. Van Gogh painted over 20 portraits of himself during this time. Though Van Gogh painted many self-portraits, he did not like to have his picture taken. This is why there are not many photographs of Vincent Van Gogh. During the last years of his life, Van Gogh had created over 2,000 pieces of art. But can you guess how many of these works he sold? If you guess that Van Gogh sold only one piece of art during his lifetime, you are right. The painting that he sold while he was still alive is called The Red Vineyard, and he painted it in 1888. Vincent van Gogh was an artist that became much more famous after he died. Today, van Gogh's paintings can sell for millions and millions of dollars each. His paintings and drawings are in famous galleries and museums all over the world. This is van Gogh's most famous painting, The Starry Night, and it was painted in 1889. The inspiration for this painting came to Vincent van Gogh as he looked out of his window during the night. He would notice the bright moon surrounded by swirls of twinkling stars. Van Gogh loved the night and he felt that the darkness calmed him and made him feel dreamy and filled with emotion. Today, we can be grateful that Vincent Van Gogh took the time to share his gift with the world. His paintings are interesting, thought-provoking, expressive, and beautifully stunning. No doubt that Vincent van Gogh would be happy that so many people now love and appreciate his artwork.